All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. September 20th, 2017. As you guys already know, uh, Hurricane uh, Maria is this uh, hit land in uh, Puerto Rico, did a lot of damage there, a lot of people out without power, flooding, and all types of things like that. We don't know the path of it yet. It's going to uh, make a decision here coming up in a few days uh, if it's going to go up the uh, you know the east of America or is going to go to Florida or if it's going to go through everything and go towards Texas we don't know uh, you know of course they 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 say that it's going to not even hit anything uh, in America it's just going to go back to the Atlantic which would be awesome for us you know what I mean but uh, that or, or everybody that lives in America in the East Coast or in the uh, South but we don't know yet it's too far out to see what happens. Right now, we're just praying for the people in the Caribbeans, okay? Uh, so hopefully everybody's safe. I know some people could not get out of Puerto Rico. I talked to you guys yesterday and uh, said I was going to pray for you, and we did. And hopefully you guys are okay. We'll check up on you guys in a couple of days because I know you guys don't have any power. So we'll check up on you guys uh, by this weekend, and I'll make sure you guys are okay. Um, Let me see here. I'm not sure why this is down there like that. Anyways, who cares? Uh, so, okay, so let's begin here. Um, Chevron uh, American drilling the first uh, exploratory uh, well in Kurdistan. Okay, so Chevron's doing some drilling in the uh, Kurdistan region. Okay, after two years of suspension, they're back. So they're able to now drill. So that's a positive sign of internationalism. Uh, this is the content of the uh, infallible initiative uh, to resolve the crisis of Kurdistan region or referendums. Um, okay, so what does he talk about? Let's see if they have anything. Uh, let's see. It said it, it was agreed to put forward the next initiative to in front of all parties for the proposed uh, or for the purpose uh, of adoption and approval of a roadmap to resolve all outstanding problems between the region and the federal government at all levels. Okay, now they're playing into our hands because this is exactly what we said was going to happen if Barzani did not give up the referendums that all of the leaders of Iraq would have to come together and just and basically give the Kurdistan region and the citizens everything that they've been asking for, for for so long. And they're playing right into our hands. So that's exactly what's going on now. They're trying to figure out a way to get it done without hurting their corruption, but also getting it done for the citizens and the Kurds. Um, this was resulted from the meeting of Barzani and uh, Food Masoon. It says, uh, resort to constructive dialogue to resolve controversial issues and decide to send a delegation to Baghdad during the next two days. So it looks like they didn't even send the delegations to Baghdad yesterday. I'm not sure. I know a body talk yesterday because we saw the, his, we saw the, uh, the uh, important quote that he did, and I did a video on it this morning, okay, on the main channel, about all Iraqis deserve the oil and, and the oil wealth and also the wealth of the country, right? So um, I, I'm pretty sure Maliki and others did not like that quote, but that was a good quote from a body. That was a historic quote from a body yesterday. Um, and I did in the videos on main channel, so you guys got to go to 365 main channel to see that video, or you can go to Facebook, Currency 365. Association of Private Banks organized a workshop on safety requirements for financial transfer systems. Okay. Cool. You can see the private the uh, private banks still going through workshops, still finishing up all their training and everything like that. It's almost done. I think it's supposed to be done by the 25th. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see if that we'll see if we get some news on that. A body arrives in Al Karar base in Musul. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Uh, says uh, he came to meet popular leader, uh, the leader of the popular crowd and the Iraqi army to discuss developments of liberation of Hawaji and Kirkuk. Okay. Um, Presidency of the Republic announced the, the agreement of Musul. I mean, I said Musul. Agreement of uh, Food Masoon and Brazani to send a delegation to Baghdad. Okay. So, today is what day? Wednesday? So, today is Wednesday. 
this was today so between t between Thursday and Friday a delegation will be coming to uh, now they were supposed to already have the delegation come yesterday and that didn't happen so I'm not sure what's going on uh, Berzani has agreed to send high-level Kurdish delegation to Baghdad during the next two days Abadi's supposed to be in New York. Abadi looks like he's not going to New York. I'm not going to say he's not going to New York because I don't know. But if Baghdad is sending a delegation within the next two days, that means Abadi's not going to New York to to give a speech. It seems like, but we're gonna let we're gonna we're gonna allow it to play out to figure out what's going on with that. Marzani sets a new timing for dialogues with the world and Baghdad and announced the date of the independence from Iraq. Okay, the 25th, of course. <laughs> but Berzani also said something. He said that it's going to take at least two years before they actually can go completely independent. Like I was saying, for how long? I said it for three weeks. Just because they go, just because even if they vote yes, doesn't mean they're going anywhere. It could take two, three years for them to become independent. All right, so uh, society uh, disrupts official work on Thursday. Okay. Uh, Brazani arrives to meet the pre um, hold up is that Brazani arriving or that's food Masoon? okay Brazani arrived to meet the uh, president of the of uh, Iraq uh, Baghdad no new gains for Kurds after the referendum is abandoned okay. uh, let's see here Keystone receives 12 million dollars from the Kurdistan region okay so selling, uh, for selling the export of, of a Shihan oil field in May 2017. Okay. Iraq participates in the World Bank meeting on the reconstruction of areas that have been subject to terrorism. All right. So you guys can see the meetings going on. And that was today's meetings. Uh, Abadi talks about a breakthrough in the coming hours with the Kurdistan region on the referendums. Um, I guess he did talk to, to the, some of the delegations. I don't know. This is weird. This is kind of trickery. I said they're going to trick us this week. So you can see it here, like a breakthroughs coming with the referendums. So did you talk to the Kurdistan people or not? You know what I mean? Like so we're getting we're we're being a little bit tricked here. So it's, you know it is what it is. We said it was coming. Uh, Brazani demands alternative uh, to referendum within the next three days. Okay, now let's see. Now within the next three days is when? Because when when this was this was yesterday. So that means today, Thursday, and Friday. So by Friday, Brazani expects the alternatives, or the referendum is still on for the twenty. Um, for 25th. Now, Brazani did uh, make a statement here, and we have it on the on Currency 365 uh, page. There it was right here. So, Brazani says, uh, if there is an alternative to the referendum, we will hold celebrations on the 25th. So, instead of holding a referendum vote on the 25th, they will hold celebrations on the 25th. So, that tells you that Brazani is doing this for Iraq and the citizens because he wants the purchasing power and the internationalism. The only way they're going to celebrate on the 25th is if Allah gives them that international rate, which means that they're going to that then activate Article 140, oil and gas law will activate, the, the important laws will activate, and everything will activate with the private sector. And that's why they will celebrate on 25th if there's an alternative because they know that uh, the internationalism will be coming out. But if, there, if there's no alternative, which the alternative is the internationalism with the art, with Article 140 and Article 8, chapter, you know, chapter 7 is done, Article 8 and all the internationalism that needs to be, that needs to come out. Um, so we're on Facebook here. Here's my uh, profile. Um, it's on a pin post, as you guys know. And I did change some things up here. I changed it up to make it more neat. Okay, so you have uh, where to buy cryptos. Here's the PayPal, uh, and then you have the uh, faucets here with the uh, mining, and then you have off offline storage for your crypto wallet, uh, nano nano ledgers, 
and then you have the, the uh, wallet, the crypto wallets for donations there as well. So I made it more simple for people instead of just one big cluster. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, and I did take some stuff out, put some stuff in. So, um, okay, so, and this was a video I did on the main channel. A body, Prime Minister body oil for all Iraqis, all Iraqis, and wealth for all Iraqis. Okay, so let's check out what you guys had to say for yesterday's Brazani quotes. Uh, says some interesting, can translate. Yeah, it was in Arabic. I just put the title in there. Um, Abadi, I have not announced the cancellation of my trip to New York so far. Okay, and that's coming from Roger. And Roger says here, uh, before any revaluation, CBI must collect two thirds of the old banknotes that the citizens are hoarding. Uh, hence the delay. Eh, I don't know. I don't know about that, Roger. I'm not sure because they can they can go one to one at any time. You know, so do they need that for three? Do they need to get to that one billion note count for for three to one? Yeah, that was back in Shabibi's day. That we don't know what they what they have to do now. Now Shabibi said when they get the one billion note, they will have a three dollar rate. But he said one to one could be at any time for inflationary measures. Remember that? So it it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they they could they could hoard they could they're not going to be able to get the rest of the notes until they raise the value because the the citizens are not going to give it up, give up the notes. So they're they they've collected as much as they can collect without raising the value. And now they understand, just like Alok just said just a few weeks ago or last week, we can't collect any of the other notes. We're short, we're running short on cash because the other notes are not being collected because the citizens are too smart. And uh, so now we're going to have to raise the value. We're going to have to give them purchasing power to bring those notes in. Um, let's see here. I hope for there's a breakthrough. Uh, outstanding. And David Johnson was the one that actually brought that to us. Uh, oil for all Iraqis, the land, uh, land for all Iraqis, and the wealth for all Iraqis. So, okay, so that is translation that I had was missing that part where the land for all Iraqis. So, anyways, it's all good. Um, another guru has passed away. Wow. Well, yeah, a lot of gurus have passed away. That's why I keep telling you guys I'm not a guru. <laughs> <laughs> like there's a trend going on here uh and i'm not you know what i mean because uh you know if it, if i had if i had it my way we would be doing all cryptos and all stocks on my channels but um you know but because so many people have supported me so long that i i i, I figured let me just go to 1118 and then we'll move on i think that's i think that's being uh generous enough and a lot of you guys have said that's very very generous <laughs> uh because and I, and I and I hope and, and it looks like we're not, we're not going to need that we're not going to need to go that far but this is Iraq things can change on a dime where it looks like the pressure is building to the max which it is right now and you can see it on the body's face <laughs> uh, that we're going to see some type of release here and a breakthrough that especially the way the world is right now with a lot of chaos terrorism hurricanes uh, tornadoes uh, floods uh, earthquakes and all types of stuff and fires it, it seems like we're at that breaking point right now so uh you know so we're just waiting on that breakthrough and it's gonna have to be from a body and, and a lock uh giving us that release um a body comes up uh we want cancel uh referendum not postponement okay so they don't want the the, the referendums can, uh, postponed they want to cancel okay uh, to never come out again uh, but you have to give them the international. You got to give them the international. Uh, anyone, how hard is it to activate Article 140? <laughs> well, the problem with Article 140 is that you have a land that still needs to be liberated, which is Hawaji, and it's sitting right in Kirkuk, right? Western Anbar. So, and that's, and that is the, so you have a land like Hawaji that needs to be liberated, and it's the one land that's being disputed by, and it wants to go independent with the Kurdistan region. So that's the mess of Article 140 right now. Okay, so that's why Article 140 can't be uh, activated. Uh, but it can always be, it could be activated after the, uh, after a one-to-one. -one. They could do a one-to-one -one and then it's activated afterwards, okay? Um, let's see here. It shouldn't take long to, to to free uh, Hawaji should take seven days or less. I mean, as a matter of fact, it should only take three days really to liberate Hawaji. 
Um, okay, so what happened here? Somebody, somebody called, put this as spam, I guess. I don't know. Let me just keep it. Okay, let's see here. It's a central bank is subject to a large uh, monumental process and receives blank papers instead of cash. What? I wonder why somebody put that as spam. Somebody marked this as spam too. It could be fa it could be Facebook that's marking these as spam as well, guys. That they don't want people to see this stuff. Um. So let's see what this is. I didn't see this. If we can see it, goodness gracious, internet, come on. <laughs> Let me go out here and see if I can get this. So not only is Facebook trying to stop it, the internet's trying to stop it as well. Okay, so, hmm. So the central bank is subjected to a large mon monumental process and receives blank papers instead of cash. Now, what is this all about? If you guys know what this is all about, let me know. I can't really think off the top of my head right now on why they will receive blank papers instead of cash. Huh. Not sure. Not sure what's going on there, but something's happening. So we have movement. <laughs> um, full of body word about the cursing referendums, yeah. Uh, we know about all that, a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, uh, and then you have this. It says, uh, and this is, I guess, the key cards and stuff. MasterCard is based, okay, come on, internet, jeez. Okay, MasterCard is based on secret code of only four digits that is retained by the owner of the card. You know, the last four, isn't it the last four digits is always really that, you know, really the only thing that matters is the last four digits, right? And then the uh, three digits on the back. Um, let's go here. Everything else really doesn't matter on the card. And except for the expiration, of course, it has to be, it has to at least be uh, valid, not expired. Uh, body, we are in the final stages of liberating the entire land. Yeah. Zero hedge, Bitcoin hedge fund manager. And the world warns Bitcoin in a bubble, says the people of Fiat. <laughs> I think Pete actually likes. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say Pete. I'm not Pete. I'm not gonna say that you're uh, against Bitcoin because I don't know. But you do put a lot of articles out that are against Bitcoin. So I. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I. You maybe you're just putting out articles. But those guys. This this guy right here is a hedge fund Fiat manager, right? He's supposed to not like Bitcoin. It goes against his, his system. This is nothing surprising, you know. So, <laughs> um, cryptocurrency concentration, just 4% own over 95% of Bitcoin. Yeah. Not surprising there as well. The, the people who got in at the beginning usually own most of the coins. <laughs> so... I'm not sure, Pete, if you're uh, against Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies or not. I'm not sure because a lot of the articles are kind of against cryptocurrency. Maybe you like the, the paper fiat system, which is fine. I don't care. I mean, it's going to die off. So you're in a dying system. But, you know, um, but hey, you can like whatever you want to like. Uh, infallible arrives. That's cool. Um, U.S. Economic collapse 2008 was just a warning sign. And Tang says this is a good video. Okay. And then we already we did this one early as well. Putin uh, orders the at the end trade in U.S. dollars at Russian seaports. Ophidian Bank denies the suspension of advances of state employees. And that's coming from Greg. Okay. CBI auctions have changed. Here's a look at the new CBI auctions. Okay, so let's click on this and see what Ryan has to say has here for us. Okay, I did see this Ryan from when you posted the other day. Uh, so the new CBI auctions. See how you guys can look at it. Okay, so you can see that cash is basically non-existent. They they barely do any cash now on the CBI auctions. Um, and that's a good thing because it stops all the corruption because they were using, you know, they'll take, they would take the cash and then, you know, 
they would they would they could take a cash and 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 fund terrorism and do all types of stuff and and uh you know take the notes take the dinar and go to other countries third world and send people to third world countries other countries and 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 sell it for our uh you know 10 times the value you know to to other countries so i mean it's it, it's 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 crazy so as they do it electronically it definitely minimizes people from being able to steal stuff because there is now and you can trace it through computers uh okay so let's wrap it up here with here uh Let's see here. Bitcoin back at four thousand. So it's just hovering around. This goes back and forth between twenty thirty nine hundred and four thousand right now before it makes its next move. Whenever that is, we don't know. Um, if there is a hard fork coming in November, Bitcoin will probably jump to about seventy seventy five hundred to eight thousand range. It'll, it'll probably double, you know, where it's at from now because everybody's gonna want that free Bitcoin uh, that that's gonna hard fork off of it. Uh, and I'm not sure what they're gonna call it. Um, so V was it Vcash? No, that's not. No, Vcash is already out. It's it's a uh, it's almost like Zcash. Um, so whatever that coin is gonna be, uh, we'll get it for free, basically like like Bitcoin Cash, and we can just hold it. Uh, and a lot of people didn't get a lot of uh, Bitcoin Cash uh, because they didn't have a lot of Bitcoin. And uh, some people still don't even have Bitcoin Cash because of like places like Coinbase, which are not going to give it to you until like the uh, beginning of the year, as it basically as a holiday present or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, so people are going to learn from that mistake, and, and including myself. And we're going to have we're going to own a bunch of Bitcoin so we can get that free coin. Okay, uh, you know the equal value of that free coin, whatever that is. If there is a hard fork in November, yeah, we don't know if there is going to be one or not. All right, um, let's see here. Litecoin's at 53. If I see Litecoin go to 50, I'm going to grab some more because uh, I just think it's way undervalued uh, at the prices at the prices at now with only 53 million coins out. Uh, way undervalued is Litecoin. Uh, but, you know, Litecoin doesn't, they, they, you know, they, they don't do, they don't host ICOs on their platform, on their Lightning Network. So I mean, that's one of the reasons why we haven't seen it explode yet as well. Uh, we need to see Litecoin start to, you know, start to uh, make some deals, okay? Make some deals, and I think we'll see an explosion. Um, that's all they're waiting on now is just make, make some deals. And also, I think Amiso Go is going down and because people are getting their airdrops. So basically, if you were holding Ethereum for a certain period of time, you got free Omiso Go. So, and it was like a little bit, it's like, I, I think they gave out like 4% or something like that uh, over Miso. So everybody got a small bit amount of a Miso Go for holding, uh, no, it wasn't, it. was it Ethereum? You hold Ethereum or it was Singler tokens? No, it was Singler tokens. Okay, so never mind, it wasn't Ethereum. So if you hold, if you held Singler tokens, I believe it was Singler tokens for OMG. Because I, I, I remember Omar was did videos on that and I did post those. So if you if you held singular tokens, uh, you got free Omiso Go. Okay, so and that was to promote them basically to promote Omiso Go worldwide. Uh, so they gave that on the Ethereum block on the Ethereum platform or whatever the case may be. So that's probably one of the reasons why Omiso Go is going down right now. And it's not because of anything. It's just because the people got their free Omiso Go coins. A lot of times when people get free coins, half of them sell it because they don't know what they really own. Uh, and uh, and the other half say, whoa, I got some free Omiso Go. I'm going to hodl this. You know what I mean? I'm going to take it all the way up to 500 bucks or whatever the price of Omiso Go is going to go in the future. We know it's going to make a Bertassium style run. So, but right now it's it's coming down because people are getting their free airdrops and they're selling their free Omiso Go coins. Okay, so that's basically because they don't know what they own. So that, that's probably what's going on right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this come up to like 99 million or maybe 100 million here it's very, over the weekend uh, as people get their uh, airdrops. And usually when people get free coins, it happened to Digibuy too. I'm going Digi, but Digibuy made that huge mistake of giving out those coins, and then the people went to the actual exchanges and and instead of and, and, and sold them off, right? So same thing happening here for Amiso Go. Uh, people getting their free air coins, air air coins, and then they're going to uh, some some will sell, some will hold. Um, okay, so that's what's going on. Not not a problem. Um, and let's come down here. Our coin at three thirty. We have uh, 
and Mike and JP should be on today at uh could be on. I'm not sure they will be on, but they could be on today at uh what the what is today Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. So they could be on today at three PM. Uh you know. So we'll see. Uh Digibyte up right now. Digibyte has uh launching uh new uh, uh new and approved site by on, on October first, the day before uh the city T four uh finals challenge. And uh so that's gonna be giving them good momentum going into October. So it's a good time to grab some Digi by Nagel Singler uh DTV. Um let's see here what else is going on. Where's House Cloak doing? Where's Cloak at? Uh gotta go all the way down to find these things now. There's Cloak at seven forty six. Might have to grab some. Uh, if I see that if I see that seven bucks or six something, I'll grab some more there i just bought some yesterday uh and i even said yesterday i even said to myself yesterday i might be buying way too high still because it's still coming down it is it is an oversold territory now so but i still i i was like man if i just wait one more day i'm pretty sure i can get at seven seven twenty seven thirty and it did hit that price today so you know, I I can I and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch it here. If it goes down to like seven seven fifteen, I'll grab some more there because it is now an oversold territory. So I, I like to buy an oversold and then wait for the bounce, right? And I'm gonna hot all my cloak coins anyways. There's only five million of them out, so that tells you that within the next twelve months, this could be at seventy to you know anywhere between seventy to five hundred bucks. You know, within the next twelve months, when you only have five million coins right and they're going to be making a bunch of deals and it's a privacy coin i mean it, there's just so many good things about it that uh if you know it's a, it's a coin that you should you should own and just hodl um and then okay cash i also bought that one of course and it's at 42 so it's right at the point where mike and mike said that it was going to see resist uh its support level at 41 i told you guys 41 would be a price uh that is that would bounce off looking at the charts as well and Mike was right, just confirming what, and I did buy some yesterday at like 45, 46 cents. And I might grab some more today around this prices and then see what happens. I'm going to hold, I'm going to hodl it as well. And uh, I'm looking for $10 plus. So uh, in the ne and by the end of the year for OK Cash. Okay, so that's it for me. I'm done. Peace out, everybody. God bless. Bye. Eyes open.